everybody, Grimace here. Um, basically, I was gonna go out and show you guys what a beautiful city I live in, but uh, I've been walking around and I noticed something that people like to throw their garbage everywhere. that people are under the assumption that during the winter time if they toss stuff out of their car window that somehow mysteriously it'll just disappear over the winter months and the snow will disintegrate it and do a thousand years work but no this doesn't happen so I'm walking around my city and all I see is garbage everywhere stopping this. Uh, our city holds a big cleanup every year where volunteers can go out and clean and clean up after everybody, but the solution's got to start with you. You guys have got to stop littering. Stop throwing your stuff under your car windows. Stop emptying your pockets out onto the street and start respecting our city. Global warming has become a huge problem on our planet and we seem to have lost sight of the small things. See guys, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like somebody couldn't have took their time to keep this either in their car or have thrown it into a garbage can. This is disgusting. This is all over the city. It's time we need to do something about this. Things like global warming have become huge problems on this planet. And it's up to all of us to do our part. And one small thing that we all can do is pick up our litter and well, actually just don't drop your litter in the first place. There's a garbage can on every street corner. If you're in your car, throw it in the back seat, get a plastic bag. You know, it's up to you to make the change. I come in early in the morning to drop my recycling. I live in here. There's a lot of people in apartments and condos. I happen to live in a very poor area. Yeah. But uh, I recycle from the building I'm in. Everybody else's newspaper, they gather it for me. At milk cartons, they save them. I, I, I drain them, rinse them out quickly, let them dry, flatten them out, and I bring them in here. And a matter of fact, this is my oh. bag that I brought today. So you brought these all from your house? Yeah, but before I could throw it in, yeah. Uh, I have to go and sort through to make sure everything's clean for everybody else. Our recycling system is one of the best in North America. Little old Edmonton with barely not even a million yeah. people. We do the best. Not because of our mayor and city hall. Not because of our aldermen. In spite of them. Like I just showed you this contaminated leaves that the, the city workers literally cleaned off of here and put in here. Yeah. In other words, somebody working for the city. And clearly it's labeled on yes. here. It's all newspaper from the free ones right to the journal in the sun and yeah. so on. And most of them end up blowing around here on the city street. Yes. Now if the city worker picked up those that were blown around and put them in here and they were clean, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. But to go and throw the dirty stuff that he's raked off with leaves and mud and so on. Yeah, it's unusable. It takes or... them so much time and a lot of that yeah. had to have been thrown out, a lot of that paper. And not only that, we have a lot of tourists in this square throughout the summer. Yeah. And when they come, if there was a proper sign saying Edmonton is the number one in recycling, or number two or whatever, yeah. and I think we're number one yeah. if I'm not mistaken, it should come out on a sign. So the tourists say, hey, wow, this this little city, this isn't Toronto, Montreal, yeah. Quebec City, Vancouver. Maybe we can do this Edmonton. too in our city, exactly. right? Exactly. And it'll snowball. Hey everybody, see this right here? This is the garbage can provided by the city of Edmonton, paid for with your tax dollars. You can use them, you know. You don't have to just throw it on the street. You can put your garbage right in here. See the little sign? It says, please, Put your garbage 